dun, ba, da, dun, bum. Get ready to play some 19 music, music from 1921. My name's Gary. You are logging into a ukulele lesson on how to play Ain't We Got Fun. Uh, and sheet music is on our website, jollyrogerukulele.com. And I am running over there right now to post our link to this page so that we can get a million people in here, or 12, uh, to play with us. And so we we'll need just a second, and we will make this happen. Command V. Scroll. Come on, WordPress. Why do you roll down for no reason? And the song we're looking at is QG, I think. I think. Yep. Okay. So everybody's rolling in here. They will be uh, letting me know if the sound is good. And you always get extra credit if you're the first one who walks in and says, yep, sound is good. <laughs> all right uh, but we post everything on jollyrogerukulele.com we're playing uh flapper week so every all the songs we're playing this week are from uh, the hits from 1920 or this decade of 1920s and they're amazing songs they're really really good uh, they would never be hits today um which is too bad because they're pretty good here's that it goes to the right spot Oh, my email box. I always open it up thinking, all right, between classes, I'll have a chance to work on it. <laughs> I have 87 I haven't even opened, and about 80 of those are things that are probably important. So, all right, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm supposed to in the evenings read emails, and I, sometimes I get home and I'm like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> it's gotten worse with this, this stay, stay at home thing, right? At some point, you're like, all right, that's it. No more, no more cell phone, no more computer, no more television. I'm just going to sit here on the balcony. I'm just going to sit here, do nothing. <laughs> That's my thing now. Like, oh, God. I've been wondering what that thing is over there. It's the light. This, my microphone's trying to sneak in and be part of the show. I guess that's okay. You guys don't care. As long as, as, long as I play it perfectly, that's all you need. Let's see. Who's wandered in here today? Today, it's it's 102. If you're watching the replay, uh, it will you can fast forward three minutes, uh, but you shouldn't because this is the best part of my day is saying hi to everybody who comes and plays. We're getting, we're, uh, I, I kind of spread out my daily teaching so I didn't have everybody cramming in into one class, which has been good, um, but now... Um, some people have multiple times that they come every day and they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Already heard all your jokes for today. Uh, that, that, that assumes I have any jokes. Valerie is here. She finally made it in today. Uh, good. Sound. The sound is good. Uh, Valerie gets extra credit. Valerie's usually are on top of things. If she doesn't show up, there's always a good reason. So glad you're here, Valerie. Elizabeth is here. She, she Elizabeth just finished up writing 50 songs in 90 days. Um, Tomorrow is the day that they're all due, but she had them do it. turned in and done two weeks ago. She's killed it. So good. So we're in the, in the presence of greatness, you guys. Act serious. Sandy is here. She's from Upper Michigan. Manette is here. Uh, she's in the next couple of weeks over in Chicago. And um, that's what she's up to. Lynn is from New Jersey. Beautiful weather in New Jersey today. You know, those of us who are not from New Jersey, all we know about New Jersey is that whenever there's a movie, New Jersey comes off looking pretty poor. <laughs> and Lynn assures me that that is not the way it is there. By the way, I got a bunch of dust on the camera lens, so I'm going to wipe it off. All right, there. That, that'll solve everything. Uh, let's see. Evelyn, in from Ecuador. Good to see you, Evelyn. Elizabeth, my mom was born in 1920. Oh, she was. Oh, exciting. So she was too young to remember this music. But uh, um, my mom was born in 34, if I remember right. You know, we think about our images of things and what 1920 was like. The war, um, the World War One had ended and they had a 10-year run of things that were pretty good. This, of course, was if you were, uh, you know, a certain uh, type of person in the 20s uh, and uh, that things were great for you. But for a lot of people, it was a tough time. And uh, they actually did have, if I remember right, Spanish flu, in the early 20s. 
Um, so, you know, there's a number of things that we sometimes think, oh, the Roaring Twenties must have been awesome. Wasn't awesome for everybody, as never as it ever is, right? Amy in today. Well, how exciting, Amy. Good to see you. What are you doing here? Amy has a job, so she can't come in all that much, I think, right? <laughs> she better have a job. She doesn't come every day. Uh, Vic and Sunny Eugene. We need Sunny. We need Eugene to be the opposite of Sunny at this point. We need Eugene to be dreary and miserable and rainy all of the time. Let's see. Uh, Linda's in from British Columbia. Hi. Uh, the tune. The tune sounds familiar. Jake is on YouTube at 4 p.m. Hawaiian time, so that's 7 p.m. Pacific time. Aha. So uh, let's let's uh, make sure before we get out of here, that everybody has a chance to Google that and find out. Uh, don't you just love? Just watching Jake play, he's just so delightful. He's such a great guy, and he's just so beautiful the way he plays. Puts in the time, done the work, um, uh, and uh, he's always worth – it's always inspiring to watch him play just in the sense that uh, he might not be uh, – um, he's just a great ambassador for this instrument, and so it's always delightful to see Jake play. So uh, remind me to, to tell people as we're exiting or after we play the song to check out, to Google Jake. Uh, Terry is in. Terry lives down the block from me. Uh, Jake is in. Uh, Jake and Barbara in from Illinois. Good to see you guys. Uh, Pauline in from Northern California. Things are not going so well there. Uh, Marianne needs some fun today. It's rainy and gloomy in Michigan. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's have fun. All right, we're going to do this. Today is dedicated to Mary Ann's gloomy day. Uh, Mike is in. Mike, hey, Mike. Mike's in for local here. Diane Diane is here. Uh, Smokey Lilton. I know the smoke. We got a fire up north, and it's blowing all the smoke into the city today. So uh, that's why my eyes are burning. So if I weep, I'm weeping. Um, I'll say it's from the beauty of your playing, but it's probably just smoke in my eyes. Smoke gets in your eyes going to be a harmonica song some of you are not coming to harmonica class and it's a mistake okay well, smoke gets in your eyes is going to be one of those i've done it smoke gets in your eye i've done it for guitar so we could do it for um uh ukulele at some point i think it'll fit i don't think that i don't recall it having a huge jump on the melody so i think we can get fitted onto ukulele I don't think we've ever done it, have we? I don't know. I'll go look. It doesn't matter. Uh, Christine is in from Bozeman, Montana. I haven't seen Vicky yet. And Vicky and Christine are our Bozeman uh, Bozeman crew. Annie is here. She's for local. Cindy's a local. Uh, Valerie saw Jake in concert last summer and bought my uke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He's wonderful. I, I've gotten a chance to just hang out and chat with him on a, a few occasions. And as pretty much everybody in the ukulele, he'll just, he, he's just a very pleasant guy. Uh, uh, you know, he spends a ton of time in Japan. He's huge in Japan, so uh, we don't get to see him as much. Although he does come to Colorado regularly. I think he likes playing with uh, up in Boulder. And so we get a chance to see him pretty regularly around here. Uh, Linda is in. Manette. Yeah, ran him up in Steamboat. Nice. Uh, Cozy. Yeah, where you been, Cozy? Good to have you back. And a bench Linda's in really, really smoky 252 purple air. Uh, so sorry about that, Linda. It's just a bummer what's going on in Northern California. So let's do a rain dance. Let's we're going to do today is dedicated to uh, uh, Marianne's gloomy rainy day in Michigan. We're going to try to uh, give her, we're going to try to lighten up Michigan and send the clouds back to um, California. <laughs> All right, we're doing a make. We got fun. I just finished it up this morning and posted it. Um, I just played through it a few times here, and I got only got one thing that I'm going to suggest. Go to measure 29. Grab your pencil. Measure 29. Um, that C minor six, uh, which is an odd little chord, zero through three zero, and that I, I put it in. To I put it, I computed it in several different ways to find the best thing, and it's right. It's absolutely right. But at that run up to there, um, and the poor get children. I want to make sure that the fermata that I have there. I want you to put it right above the tough uke part because as you're rolling in there, I want you to take. I want you to slow down and make that moment something. So uh, when you get to the end of twenty nine, um, and it's. <laughs> hear that 
So a big old glissando next to it. Make a big deal out of Z0330 when we get there. So we really got to have that be a thing. <laughs> you're all along dun, 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 dun. it's all fun and then you get to 29 and the poor get chill Drun. high drama then we'll do that for Mata and then we'll go back in and then A9 there in major 31 is incredible it's hard to get it on but it's like Yes, that is exactly right. So the chords that are on here, um, I'm not sure how many I pulled out of the original sheet music and how many I just thought up and threw in here, but uh, they're, they're cool and it's fun. And I think I think you're going to enjoy playing today. Um, let's see. Cat made it in. Good to see you, Cat. Uh, Cozy was playing me for the anthem. Ah, very good. Right? Right? Anywhere you can get a hold of uh, play, uh, a ukulele, a famous area, and if you can throw in Jake in addition to that, then you really got something going on, right? Okay, guys, let's go through it. Um, uh, let's talk about the chords real quick. Um, G chord. Every morning, every evening, and this D7, and hopefully by now you know there's this D7, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's for when you go to the strum along, when you're at and, and when you're someplace where everybody's singing, and it doesn't matter <laughs> when that you own a ukulele, um, but you're just having fun. Uh, if you go to your sing along, uh, hopefully it's they generally program those things either right before lunch or right after lunch, so that you can include a lunch you know, in your activity. When you see D seven, that's it's this guy, right? Bum, bum, bum. That's the, that's we call it easy D seven. Okay. Problem with this D seven? There's no D in it, which is weird, and the seven is on this string, and that's not ideal. Okay. So the this D seven is the one you want to get good at. Bar on two, middle finger there. Okay, that's how, that's how awesome that sounds. Um, ain't we got fun? That's exactly the right chord there, right? And then measure five. Not so, not much money. Oh, but honey. Back to G chord. Ain't we got fun? Okay, and then C chord. The ransom paid. Do you, hear, you hear that? That's wrong. That's the wrong chord, which is awesome. Uh, the ransom paid. Dear. G chord. We haven't a bus. That's the wrong word. I don't know. I, I, I really, 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 really want to change that wrong word. We haven't a bus. That's They only have it there because it rhymes with the next the thing. Uh, we haven't a, I don't know, something better than buzz. Um, um, and then B minor. But smiles were, and then you've got this, the, the F sharp seven. Guys, this is never uh, that fun of a chord to do, but I want you to get good at it because it's going to come up in Tin Pan Alley music a lot. Okay, so you've got your E7. Dun, 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 dun. That's an E7. But to turn it into a bar chord, which you're going to need to in, a, in uh, Tin Pan Alley music, middle finger here, ring finger there, pinky finger there. So now it's still an A7, E7. But now it's useful, okay? So this E7, we move it up one, put your bar there. It's an F7. Now, lots of you guys have learned your F7 is this one, right? Which is index, middle, and ring, and nothing on the bottom. That's also an F7. But if you put your pinky on there, then it becomes a movable F7, okay? So that's that. Done, F7. And then we're going to, for this song, we move it up to an F sharp 7. Um, and so it comes out really cool. Um, but smiles were made, dear. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. For people like us. And then diminished shape. Again, with diminished, this shape, it, all diminished chords look exactly the same. They have two here and two here. You can do it a bar chord, but it, don't, it doesn't work as well, in my opinion. Okay. Okay, that's good. You're going to see a lot of diminished in Tin Pan Alley music. Then you go to the minor, E minor. And then a nice big flat here. Okay, that's it. And, that, and um, I put writ at major 15, slow it down. For people like us. Blum, 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 blum. And then back to a tempo at 18. In the winter, in the summer. Okay, and then... Um, Let's see. Um, oh, Elizabeth, our composer, 
is suggesting fuss for bus. We haven't a fuss. Maybe. Right? Let's try it. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, it, it changes the meaning of the song, but it, it rhymes. Uh, it's just not the right word. I think the problem is for people like us, you really have to have us there for people like us. Like we're in this together against the rich people. Um, and so you can't change us. And so the fuss is... Fuss is certainly better than bus. Um, we have a fuss, I guess. Let's see. Amy says, will you show that E7 and F7 shape again, please? Um, we, we, we've no need to fuss. All right. We'll work it out. <laughs> All right. So E7 is this, right? This is your standard open E7. When we talk about open chords, there's one string that's not being held down at least. Okay. So C, this is open C, and this is open D. Okay. This is bar chord C, this is bar chord D, okay, so with E7, you've got an open E7, this string here is not being used, okay, so there's E7. Now, to fix that, we change our fingering, middle finger here, ring finger here, pinky finger there. Okay, so it's still an e open E7, but you've got your bar available, which is very exciting, okay, so there's your E7, now you're going to slide that up one, and your bar is only one one string right here and so now your index fingers here let me let me take it back apart for you index finger here middle finger here ring finger here pinky finger there okay so um now it's movable index finger first fret second string middle finger fourth string second fret <laughs> i always feel like i'm talking about a like i'm a robot talking about a graph ring finger, third string, third fret, and then pinky finger on the first string, third fret. Okay, so that's your movable seventh chord. Okay, here's why this is important. Okay, so you got your F7 now. Started off as an E7, but we moved it up one, so it's now it's an F7. What's delightful here is that in this song, we're gonna use it as an F sharp seven. Okay, but one more up on the third fret, and it becomes a G7. Very handy. We usually replace it with a little bit easier shape than this, but it's very handy to have that there. And most importantly, in Tin Pan Alley music, this A7 on five, that's going to come up a lot. Okay. Okay. That chord right there is going to come up an awful lot. And so just know um, that I'm not teaching you this, uh, taking time to teach you this just because it's in the song, but this is really a, a shape that you're going to use. It's a little bit cumbersome to get it on in the beginning, but once you get good at it, it's going to be real useful for you um, as a shape. Okay. Um, all right. So hopefully that I am. I mean, you could say plus. We haven't a plus. <laughs> plus is an archaic word for a kiss. Yeah, B U S S is, is a. You see that all the time. Uh, no more buses today. B U S S E S, and that means kiss. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've turned you guys. Stop worrying about bus. I'm talking about this F sharp movable F7. <laughs> and we're all focusing on the wrong things. Come on, peeps, focus. <laughs> all right. Um, measure 18. Don't focus. You're doing the right thing. Uh, ah tempo. Um, uh, and, and then we go right back to the same kind of feeling, right? In the winter, in the summer, ain't we got fun? Do, 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 do. Times are bum and getting bummer. Now that's funny, right? Times are bum and getting bummer. I love that. My mom used to always say that. I feel bum. <laughs> Times are bum and getting bummer. And then we got uh, G7. Ain't still we have fun. Okay. And then C chord. There's nothing. You got a B chord here. Remember, that's just your B A chord, B flat, and then a B. Sure. Sure. There's nothing sure the rich get. There's your F sharp seven again. Rich and the poor get poor. Yeah, that's so weird there. That's so, uh, I'm sorry. It's so weird, but it works. Okay, so your, um, the chord is here, but we're going to play it here. 
I think I did that wrong. Let me wait. <laughs> Hold on. I'm worried I made a typo. Uh, C minor six. Yeah, that's a typo. So the the core grid, those two zero, the two dots should be on three, not on one. So I'll I'll have to update that. That's a goof. So the chord is zero three three zero, just like it says in the tablature. So the chord grid needs to. I didn't. I I, I meant to put that at third fret, and I put it on first fret. So a little bit of a typo there. I'll fix that. Okay, um, and then then back to G. In the meantime, A minor, A9. In between time, ain't we got fun. And then your turnaround is the same as measure 16. Okay. And then we turn around, play it all again. Come back down the last time through, measure 35, just a regular G chord. Ain't we got fun. And then you got your high G7 um, in the tough, tough line at 7, 7, 7, 10. You want to have this one memorized. Right, um, so you have your D chord here. Up here we have Renee's, uh, Ronnie's F chord, and then we have this this seven 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 ten. That's a G chord. Okay, there you go. Can you bar the F sharp seven? You could. You could. I think it's a bad idea, but yes, Manette, you could. <laughs> um, um, most of the time, several of the shapes, the top 10 shapes, the bar makes sense. But there, there's a few shapes that it doesn't make sense on. And um, I would say that that particular version of the sharp seven uh, or the uh, the E7, I think it's better just to use an index finger. But it, it, I've heard the pull. I've heard. <laughs> Elizabeth's still busy rewriting the song. Um all right, let's keep going. All right, so let's play the melody real quick. Um, I, won't, I just lost my thing. Hold on. Where'd it go? Here we go. Fun. Why did it go away? All right, so uh, let's run through the melody real quick. Make sure that any any problems I got there. Um, it's And this song, it feels like you're supposed to play it fast, and, and um, but not necessarily. Not necessarily, and you'll see why. Um, it's a foxtrot feeling to it, so that every other beat is the chord. Bum 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 and um that was a super popular thing uh in the 20s that though that because they were all the all the girls were going out dancing right because they were all of a sudden allowed to i guess and um so so you see a lot of that kind of dance music and stuff in there those of you who watch Downton abbey you'll recall about the time after the war they were all updating their fashion choices and there was dancing going on and it was very scandalous um uh, let's play the melody okay one two three four two two one two 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 one two rest three three two three two three four two three two three two three two three rest five five four five it's gonna get harder and seven six seven ten three let that ride three three oh two five two three four one five four two nine two ten to turn the page come on gary turn the page there it is can go seven seven five four two okay and it seems weird in the melody it doesn't seem for people like us right so it's It doesn't feel modern in that sense. It's going, it goes too low. Because we think of it in a modern text as for people like us. Um, but in this one, it drops down. So, okay. And I last, that note there is eight beats long. Okay. That gives the uh, chord player time to do their job. Okay. Then measure 18. One, two, three, four. In the winter, in the summer, rest. 
two, three, two, three, four, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, round. Five, five, four, five, two, three, four, one. Oh, three, oh, two, three, four, oh, three, two, oh, oh, two, three, three, oh, it's going to be a great moment, and then rest, two, two, one, two, rest, two, two, one, two, rest, five, oh, two, three, <laughs> so super fun, super fun ending. Um, the cool part is the, or one of the many cool things about this, notice the melody in measure 30 is identical to the me uh, melody in measure 31, but it's got a different chord underneath it. And listen how different that sounds. just you drop that other chord underneath there the a chord instead of the g chord and it almost feels like it's that's almost feel like a completely different melody but it's not it's the melody is the same the chord changes the feeling changes a lot and it's quite quite fascinating to watch that okay how are we doing on time good let's talk about how to how we usually play and how i want you to play <laughs> so normally we would take this let's let's play the first four measures okay one, two, or I'm sorry, tough uke, first four measures. This is how we would normally play it. One, two, three, four. Right? That's how you start. That's how you, when you're studying the piece, that's exactly what you start with. Um, and that's exactly... What I, what you would, what we would always do, okay. But because this is supposed to be a bit of a comic song, a bit a bit crazy, a um, um, little bit of fun, right? And that's not my specialty. Is fun. Um, so you want to get, you want to make these chords pop out, okay. So you would got. So what I'd rather you do is to. So be thinking about opportunities to do some um, staccato playing um, and opportunities to really hit your ukulele, right? Because we normally do this, right? But on this one, because it's supposed to be a little fun, okay, that's what we're looking for there, I think. I think that's going to sound the best, at least... How about this? It may not sound the best, but it's a new technique that we haven't, that we really don't spend much time working on, and it's an opportunity to work on it. Okay. Um, I would say, um, yeah, let's play just those first four measures again. See if you can get some good. Um, and what I'm doing there is I'm just taking my hand and, and really smashing as many fingers as I possibly can in a fast downstroke. The important one is this one. So if you only do that, that's fine. Um, but you're, you're thinking about getting a whole lot of stuff there. And then remember back in the day, way a long time ago, when we worked on kookaburra, um, we worked on staccato playing. And so measure four. So make sure you make the sound, but then just loosen up your left hand and it'll make that staccato noise. Okay. Play, stop, play, stop, play, stop, and you get that staccato. Just those first four measures again. Then let's talk about the next few measures. One, two, three, four. Keep blowing that 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 uh, D seven one more time. Just the first four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just try to. I'm thinking putting in a staccato there creates the comedy a little bit. Okay, so now measure five. You're still on your D seven. Let's play that. So for me, the hard part is my 
three down or not. Okay, so it's it should be two down. Strum, pick up your ring, pick up your ring finger, middle finger, whatever you're using this to create the three. Hit the two, and then put it back. Two. So if I slow it down, I can do it, and then play it slow a few times, and then you'll be able to do it too. Two strum. Two strum, two strum, two strum. That's what we're looking for. Two strum, two strum, dun dun. And then measure seven. Get your G chord on. And you're probably gonna have to do a thumb down there. Zero, two, three. Okay. So remember, D, uh, G chord with your pinky up there. Um, through measure seven and eight. Okay, then that's just the beginning, kind of funny. Well, then you will be thinking about the rent's unpaid, dear. We haven't a fuss. We haven't a bus. <laughs> okay, we, I uh, wouldn't, uh, I would have said, um, where did I say it? She rewrote it somewhere. Um, uh, you could you could say plus we haven't a plus oh we haven't a plus <laughs> um, then you, because this feeling in the song changes you might change your strumming style uh, so go from measure nine okay. so that's what I would say do the first part funnier a little bit more aggressively and then when you get to measure nine kind of mellow it back just a little bit so that it makes it though the aggressive playing even more pronounced okay so let's go from nine play it a little softer one two three four And this part here, measure 13, you got to get your B minor on, okay? That's bar on two, ring finger on four. And then you're going to have to play the melody with your pinky. Five, four, two. So five, four, two. That's how you're going to end up playing that. Okay, so 13. Slide up to six and pinky on nine. Okay. Um, it's really an F sharp chord, but the melody makes us, uh, well, the melody is, it's just an F sharp chord. Okay. Um, when you have a partner and they're playing the F sharp seven, it'll sound even better. Um, but the melody forces us to play a regular F sharp here. Okay. Bum, bum. And look at on the, on the standard notation how much of a change in pitch there is. But smiles were made, dear. Right? So it's hard to sing. And all of a sudden on your ukulele, you also end up with some challenging playing. Okay. And if you don't hit that upper six, you might even be better off. And just hit the, the low six on there. It might sound better. I don't know. Um, and then measure 15, another little strum on the sixes. Maybe you do that, maybe you don't. Um, and now switch to the seven. That's where you, we finally get the seventh sound. Dun, 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 B minor. Okay, so that whole thing, you can slow that down through that section. And then get your B minor on, get it good and solid. Diminish shape, two and two. Okay, A minor. D7, okay, and then go back to that silly strum, grab your G chord. D7. Again, just like on the front page, mellowed out a little bit here. Here's what I've been doing on measure 27, and I think it's I think it's smart. Okay, so you've got your B chord. This is what you're supposed to play, 
but you're not going to play the top string. So just grab your uh, two, three, four. Okay. And the reason this is going to work, got that, just that part of the B and then drop it straight down to get your E minor. Okay. So it's a uh, sure. And then you'll take your middle finger, which is on the second string, slide it up one. The, and then go grab your A minor. Rich, get rich, and the children, or poor get children. We're going to let that ride out, and then we're going to go back to, to um, uh, not, not silly strum, but just back to finishing up the song. Trying to figure out the best way to figure that. Yeah, so hold on. This is going to be the best choice. Grab your A uh, for measure 31. A chord, ring on the bottom string. Um, strum two, two, and then just slide your ring finger back one and back. And then grab your D7. That turnaround there, I think we can make it nice and slow and pretty and then go get after it again. All right, let's see how we play. Okay, from the top. Two times through. Hopefully we'll do well. One, two, three, four. your silly strum. Back up to the top. Okay. This is your time. This is your moment. This is hard, Laurel. <laughs> well, yeah, duh. All right, here we go. <laughs> From one, one, two, three, four.
I adore this tune. Um, so we learned a new technique, right? Bonk, bonk. Um, not really necessarily new, but it's just something we don't typically play. But the big thing is you can absolutely play it the regular way, which is the uh, slow ballad way, right? Nothing wrong with that. That's going to be beautiful. Okay, but it's not really what the song is about. The song is a little bit more mechanical, a little bit more funny, a little bit more in your face. Um, and it's about uh, we're just having a good time, even though we can't pay our bills. And so we want to make the song a little bit fun <laughs> um, and mix it up. Really try to bring in a lot of your technique skills to turn this into something that's more than just um, getting through the paperwork. A lot of songs we do are like that. Uh, I'm just like, well it's a lovely tune let's play it you know and and a lot most of the songs we do are that way but every now and then you get an opportunity to bring in some funny techniques or some different techniques or you know really create some texture in the in the music and that's what this song is i think um is a really fun opportunity to just really crank up the texture crank you know do different parts of the song a little bit differently i give you what i think you should do but you know I, what you know who's who who am i uh the at the end of the day, um, people like this song, and they but they don't necessarily know the words, right? And so you could play, uh, dun, 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 turn it over to your people, and their job is, ain't we got fun? Dun, 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 dun. Ain't we got fun? Right? So you, you can do that kind of stuff. So there's that. This is a fun song. I'm so excited to play this on Friday. I'm going to spend some, I'm going to practice. <laughs> um, brief discussion about the rest of the week. Uh, I have not finished. Uh, ain't we got, yes, we, yes, we have no bananas uh, from 1923, but I'm pretty sure I can get it done tonight. Um, we'll see. Sometimes things fight back. Um, but uh, for the most part, I think I can get that knocked out for us tomorrow. And then uh, we'll have four beautiful tunes from 1920s all of them were well known at the time and so you guys will have a really solid group of tin pan alley pieces that um i've never completely finished um uh this one i had i have had drafts of all of these and pieces and parts forever but um i finally got real nice pieces for you um and then on friday don't forget um, we're going to play Beautiful Dreamer again. We're going to play Genie with the Light Brown Hair again. We're going to play Blue Hawaii again. We're going to play Sweet Play Lonnie again. We're going to play Ukulele Lady again. And if I remember right, isn't it Ukulele Lady? Isn't that from the 20s as well? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm lying about that. Let me find out. Um, and so we have uh, Ukulele Lady was from, drum roll, 19... 25 okay so we actually have five uh songs from the 20s and then some other stuff <laughs> um and so we should have a really fun concert on friday and i think um obviously on these newer arrangements when you see something that doesn't feel right or whatever send me an email sometimes i change it sometimes i'm like eh, whatever uh and so there's that um okay thoughts questions comments concerns you guys got good music this week Let's see. We were busy rewriting it. Um, Laurel said it was hard. I think we talk about this all the time. If this is hard, if it's too hard, demoralizingly hard, uh, you play melody, right? That's what. That's your job. Always when they, if you hang around me, I if if it gets to the point where like those chords are too much. Play melody through those sections that are too hard and then drop down to the section that you can play. Um, that's that's what we do. OK, so know that melody playing is always the most important. If we can toss in some cool chords underneath it, then that's awesome. And yeah, I do know this stuff's hard. You see me. I'm fighting it. OK, I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be good <laughs> and I want it to be playable. I want it. And so so sometimes I write stuff out and I'm like, yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. Uh, but this one, everything on here can happen. So just it, just a little bit, a little bit of work. You'll get it. Cozy, cozy. You get a little her challenge. Evelyn says it's fun. <laughs> uh, Manette, have a great day. Let's see. Do you, do you slide your finger back to the first fret from G and measure one? keep taking the chord off and it shows me way down oh you know that is it's one of those moments in the song that's a bit of a problem right so um 
You got your G chord on. Bum, bum. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, I'm having to take my chord off to get to that one. Theoretically, you could play it with this. Now, this isn't a bar chord we use very often. But I don't. I wouldn't do that. I'm so homed in on G chord. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing is pulling the whole chord off. Amy, great question. Um, okay. Uh, yay, changing things up. <laughs> uh I still think playing slow, beautiful, thoughtful, melodically is where it's happening. Occasionally you get a piece where you got to mess it up a little bit. And this is one of those hard coordinating timing because it's new. Um, yeah, it's it's new, right? And But think about it this way. If you were playing this our normal way, that's just your thumb down strum, right? But if we're going to make it more exciting... The hard challenge there is to do this thing. Don't overdo it, right? Because you got to get your, your hand back in playing position. So if you're doing and your hands way down here, then you're going to have a problem getting up back here. So just be use a lot of your hand stroke there. Don't arm. It's not an arm stroke. It's a hand stroke. Okay. Yeah. A lot of that going on. Boom. That's the, that's what we're doing. That will that gets you less out of position than using a bunch of arm. Uh, Love in a tin pan alley. Can we do more, please? <laughs> I have hundreds. I think probably hundreds is a fair way to put it. Of uh, tin pan alley tunes. If I had my choice, that's all we would do. That's it. We would do none of this other nonsense. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, so there's more tin pan alley on the way for sure. I have. Uh, I have dozens upon dozens of them either started or at least I have the original sheet music um, I, for, and there's something about that era um, that is, I just can't believe that we let it go. I mean, it's, you know, they came along with electric guitars and we were like, yep, that's what we're doing now. And, uh, and we lost Tim Pan Alley because of that. And, but there are just every bit of it is just crazy good. And, and so, yeah, we'll do lots more of it, Valerie. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> You're talking to the Tim Pan Alley guy. Um, problem Mary is 27 through 29 on that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Slow it down. You'll, it, it does make sense. It is, um, 27 if you'll do the the e minor shape do it first on the upper strings and then the lower strings slide up grab your four and then you should be able to play through the rest of that without too much trouble but that little that little move there does take a little bit of work fun song need some practicing and sound well you guys just got it. i just finished it this morning <laughs> thanks cat uh didn't fan alley songs uh cindy good challenge fun song yep minette uh you can just slide back your in. Oh, you could. Yeah, that's another way to do it. Yeah, heck yeah, Manette. Smart, smart thinking there. Uh, Cole Porter, tune, Cole Porter tunes. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know a ton about Cole Porter, but yeah, absolutely. I know that he's good. <laughs> uh, Valerie, let my. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Do that works too. Look at you guys all problem solving around it. Nice job. Uh, Cole Porter. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, guitars are back now. Guitar great too. guitars are back now <laughs> everything all bets are off music has exploded right we're i mean think about it we're sitting here seriously studying ukulele in the middle of the afternoon on a wednesday uh, is it today wednesday today's wednesday everything's back uh, and so um we're in exciting times for music you back, remember back in the 70s and 80s you went to the record store and you only bought the big bands because that's what they were selling and we were consumers now we are producers and so um everything is bad anything you can do use to make noise see if you can make it happen uh and plus all these lessons are on youtube right so you can learn to play any song or any any instrument any song if you if you study ukulele online you, you usually end up with some pretty crazy teachers on there <laughs> whatever um let's see uh, uh. oh and the words do fit our times that's a good point elizabeth it uh as i was going through here i'm like it was bad in the 20s it's 10 times worse now right the haves and the have-nots it's a little shocking right not to bring in the world modern world but holy moses it's a little shocking the difference between the haves and the have-nots 
All right. All right, guys. That's enough. That's so that's my politics for the day. Have a great day. Um, I will see uh, many of you later on today and uh, for either baritone or guitar. And then I'll see the rest of you guys tomorrow. Um, and uh, that's where we're headed. Um, thanks for always showing up, guys. It's super exciting. And uh, we'll have good music this week. Tell people what you're doing. Let them know that they can start. All they got to do is own a ukulele or a harmonica or a guitar and then come hang out with me and I'll teach them how to play. Right. So I'll see all of you guys, uh, tomorrow. Thanks cat. Thanks cozy. Thanks Sandy. You got to rest. You guys are working on your song. I'm going to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, hasta mañana, Annie.